404 turbo fan engine, producing over 36,000 pounds of thrust. Here is the F-18 Hornet. Approaching at 175 miles an hour. Pilot flies at each of the turns. Quarter mile final approach flight. 
Speed allows only about 15 seconds to precisely adjust the flight path in order to touch down in an area not much larger than your driveway. Notice as the order approaches from the right. Here's the tail The tail hooks allow the F-18 to land and stop. Come back and extend the landing gear and the wing flap. And if this 
on a carrier and extend the hook to grab the one of the four wires across the deck. As he comes in and approaches the runway, also notice that the airplane doesn't flare as a normal aircraft would prior to touchdown, but is flown onto the runway without slowing the rate of descent. Only naval and marine aircraft can take the brutal punishment of this type of a landing. After his touch and go, it's so center, Lieutenant Joe will reposition the W-18 for the high-speed photo pass. Now, this is simulating an approach to an aircraft carrier. And as happens with every approach to the aircraft carrier, as the aircraft is about to collide with the deck, with no flare, full power, full afterburner is selected. In case the aircraft bolts or misses all of the wires with the tail hook. The aircraft is then under full power, bounces off of the deck and is airborne immediately. Air will simulate that with a touch and go landing. Let's watch. Demonstration will consist of the mini mode 
of operations available.